Instead of playing with toys, Gavin found the extra bags in here. And he likes, I guess, this yellow one because it's bright. And uh, so he's been running around playing with this bag. He really enjoys it. Who needs expensive toys, right? Yes, everything has a layer of dust on it. Yeah. Don't. Don't eat it. <laughs> Crazy boy. Crazy Gavin. That piece spotted Chapel's toy. Yep, Chapel's not in here. Where is Chapel? Where is he? He's not in here. He's not in here. And I have the hall door closed, so these are the three rooms that he has to run in right now. Um, we've been back in the bedroom earlier today um, for a little while, but um, this is where he has the most space, so we're out here now. Likes that bag, though. It's not something I would leave him with, but um, he in, he's enjoying it. He's enjoying that more than, more than his toys. I don't think you can sit on it. It's not like a chair, Gavin. Yeah. It's not a chair. You're gonna try though, aren't you? You're a silly goose. You see our collection of um, chips and we've gone through, uh, this is half of what we had and we gave a ton away. You know, Kroger, for some reason, they get these wild hairs to have these buggies in the back full of sell stuff. So the Skinny Pop, the, I did not get that on like Super Sale, what I would call, call a Super Sale. I got this on a regular sale. It was two for five. What started me buying it was there was a bin in the back, and they had those for like 75 cents. The dates were perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with them at all. Um, so that was two fifty though, but it's in here with the, the these chips because that's where we put all the chips. These, however, were 25 cents each. Now, if you buy a kettle brand, maple bacon, whatever kettle brand, you know they're expensive. I mean, they're at least $2.50 a bag. And they're good until October. And a quarter a bag. So, and we bought the jalapeno, and I think there was a jalapeno jack. But anyway, we bought a ton. We bought, we found out they had them, and um, Kevin went and came home, and I asked him, I said, why didn't you buy them all? So we went back, and we got a buggy full. We did that before we went to Disney. And so then we gave Andrew half of them, and then Kevin's been eating them slowly. So, um, but a quarter a piece, I wish they would have those deals all the time, and I wish I knew what day of the week, you know, like if there was a certain day of the week that they did that, because... I would be up there. Yes, I would. What are you doing? You know you're sitting on your bag. So that bag has all sorts of purposes. What do you plan on doing with the Pepsi and the Mountain Dew? What are you going to do with those? Huh? What are you going to do with those? Well, he's trying to tell me. If I could only understand. If I could only understand. Yeah. I'm glad we won't be needing those anytime soon.
I think you just like knocking things over. I love how it's become normal now to just see empty pill bottles all over the floor. And I added one to the mix last night, so. Guido's feeling better. Um, you know, he's old, so he's going to have days just like an old man, I guess, where he doesn't um, feel so good. But but he's he's really, uh, he's doing good. Come here. And he's my friend. He, um... He followed me around all day yesterday. He's he's so loyal. Sit here. Sit here and look. Look. He's very, very loyal. He's such a good boy. And uh, he just follows me around everywhere and wants to be with me all the time. Yes, you're my friend. Pug next to the pug pillows. How fitting. Pug and pugs. Three pugs. Look, we have three pugs. Kevin and I, when we were talking the other day about uh, TV shows that we watched, we said Big Brother. I can't believe another big TV show that we forgot that we watched during um, the summer. Well, we quit watching it for a couple of summers. Now we're back to watching it. Uh, the next Food Network star. Love that show. Um, it, it's really, really good. Um, and we like the people on there, and there's this, uh, guy that, uh, he's like a cowboy, and, uh, we thought that he was going to be, um, annoying, but he's not. He's really, he's a great guy, and he knows his food, he knows what he's talking about. He has a great personality. Um, just really, really fun to watch. So, I don't know how Kevin feels, because I haven't asked Kevin about all of the contestants, but I'm rooting for him. Uh, there's a girl that, um, she's really soft-spoken, but she's good also. She reminds me of the uh, Giada, is that her name? She reminds me of her. Uh, so anyway, she's good too, but I hope the cowboy guy wins. Can't think of his name, because not good with names, not good with remembering names. We watch so many things that it's hard to, to, uh, you know, I guess invest the time to remember all these people. So, um, anyway, this, I thought this was a mosquito bite. He had it yesterday when he left. And then Christina said it got bigger during the night, so we don't know what that is. We don't know what happened. No, we don't know what happened. He's looking at Chapel. What's Chapel doing? Oh, drops the chocolate milk cup. Can't do that. That chocolate milk, that's valuable stuff there. Chapel's just curious about everything. He's just going around. Uh, he doesn't know what to think about all this moving house stuff. And Gavin's getting comfortable in my lap. Literally, he's leaned back in my arms like he's holding a bottle with his chocolate milk. You think that's a bottle, buddy? A bottle of chocolate milk? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Is it good? Say, of course it's good. I wouldn't give you anything bad, would I? Did you finish that off? I'll have to make you some more. I think you have sucked everything you can out of there. Like he's shimmying it around in his mouth, hoping maybe he's getting that sludge out that I was talking about the other day. That chocolate milk sludge. You finished it. Say, yay, I'm finished. He's sitting in this chair to watch Daniel Tiger. I moved it over here for him. And I'm hoping he can get out of it without falling. Normally, he falls out or I help him out. And, yeah, well, he's fallen out like twice. But I try to help him out. But he just got out by himself. Christina would be very proud of him. He slid to the edge of the seat and got out. So, I think he knows now that he can fall. Yes. 
I put the, that's the pill bottle that I put the macaroni noodles in. And he loves that because it makes noise. Yeah, are you dancing? Dancing to Daniel. There he goes, up in the chair. We have both knees up there now. Yay! No problem. There you go, Mr. Rock. Both knees up in the chair. Now he's sitting down like a big boy. How's that? How's that for progress? That's some progress right there. Do you remember when I was tr first trying to sit him in this chair and he couldn't do it? Ah, I see he can't get back here because he put his cup here. Now you can scoot back. Such a big boy, Gavin. I'm proud of you. I'm trying to get this little boy to take a nap. He's been here for quite a while. It is 12 minutes after 12. And... This is an awful angle, and he's never gone to sleep. And the pug's up here trying to sleep, and I don't know what Gavin's holding right now. It doesn't look good. Guido's not moving, though, so... <laughs> he's getting his <laughs> rectal exam. <laughs> Gavin, don't climb up on the bed. The child who would not sleep. That is Gavin. His mother said he was tired. She jinxed me. She does this to me all the time. If she says he's tired and he's going to go to sleep... He is sitting on my hair. I feel like the girl in 16 Candles that was stuck in the door. You remember that part in the in the party everybody was uh, drinking and she got her hair cut in the door and they just cut it off. <laughs> oh, that's what I felt like just now because he was sitting on my hair. I'm sure that would hurt. Look at him. He does not know that he can roll off the bed. He can literally, he will literally roll off the bed and hurt himself and start crying. Because he doesn't know. Kevin went to Meyer and he spent fifty six fifty eight. The only thing he got out of this at Meyer was the Cokes, but he laid them in the floor. They must have been three for ten. Three for ten. Three for ten, okay. And then, I'm having to do my haul in a different room, so. And then he bought the... Sprinkled Donut Crunch, Captain Crunch, and he bought me some more of these um, Hostess Greek yogurt cakes. I'm telling you, I love them. They're, they're wonderful. And then they always give us about 50 coupons. And then, yay, limited edition pumpkin pie toaster strudels. I cannot wait to try those. And those are how many calories? They say on the front. 180? Okay. Okay. Well, most toaster strudels are only 170, so those are 10 more calories, so we'll see if they're worth it. And then what is all this? Ice cream. Gelato. Someone okay. said that they recommended this. It's Andrew something recommended. that He said this is the best gelato, and I'll give his last name when we do the review. Because we but, really like the texture and the flavor of the Of the fryers, but he said that's not really good gelato. So, that this is the Talenti is good gelato. Yeah, so these we, are on sale, two for six. So they're $3 a piece. So you got black raspberry chocolate chip. Uh, caramel cookie crunch. That sounds really good. You're going to be eating a lot of I like gelato. Caramel apple pie. Yum. I wonder if they do holiday uh, Caribbean coconut. 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 Uh, Roman raspberry. Some red. Ice yeah, that, I can't wait till you try that. Chocolate peanut butter cup. I'm trying that. That <laughs> sounds really, really, really good. Chocolate peanut butter cup. Southern butter pecan. That sounds good, too. All these sound good. Sea salt caramel. There's a lot of gelato. Fudge brownie. And then 
Tahitian vanilla bean. That's it. That's they a, had two, they had a double dark chocolate, mm -hmm. but I don't like dark chocolate, and most people don't like the really bitter. I'm thinking double dark chocolate is going to be kind of yeah, nice. double would be well. This didn't right. sound good to me. And then they had another kind they were out of, but um, I can't remember what it was right off the top of my head. So you literally got 10 gelatos to try. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, Andrew, uh, for your recommendation. We can't wait to try them. We'll huh? try that. Yeah. And Talenti thanks you. Yeah, I'm higher. Hello, I thought I would uh, make you uh, just a short little video where I'm just talking to you uh, because I haven't uh, talked directly to you in a while, I guess, without something going on around me. So, um, uh, just thought it would be good to have some, some time where I'm just able to talk for a few minutes. Um, I want to talk about Big Brother first. We're really enjoying Big Brother. Um, I love the competitions. And I've always told Kevin, I've told Kevin for years, you should go on that show. Because Kevin, uh, Kevin would be like Donnie. I really believe that Kevin, um, everybody would love Kevin. Because he, um, he's quiet. That would mainly be his only downfall in the house, is he is, he is so quiet. Um, but he's so, he's honest and he doesn't have a mean bone in his body. Um, and I just think, uh, we'll see how far Donnie goes because I think Kevin would be great for that show. But I just discovered something. If you go online to Big Brother, uh, uh, CBS.com slash Big Brother and you can go uh, and track their fitness because they're all wearing Fitbits now, which is really, really cool. Um, and I don't know if you've noticed before, but in the shows, you can see they have an elliptical like I have back there, and uh, they have ways to exercise. So it tracks, you know, how many steps they've taken, how many calories they've burned, and all that. But what I just noticed, uh, because I went online, I have my computer right here, uh, but I went online for the first time today and actually looked at it, it tells how much they weighed when they moved in. So they actually weighed these poor people before they, before they moved into the house. Uh, what's also cool is it tells how much they weighed when they left the house. So, for example, Devin, when he moved in the house, he weighed 239 pounds. When he moved out of the house, he weighed 252 pounds. And then, like that Paula... They called her Pow Pow, I think they called her. Uh, she weighed 97 pounds, teeny tiny little thing. 97 pounds when she moved in. When she moved out, she only weighed 91, so that poor girl lost six pounds. Um, and then the Joey, uh, the Joey girl that um, was in there, she it was exactly the same. 139 pounds when she moved in, 139 when she moved out. So anyway, I just think that's really interesting that they weighed these people and that each time somebody's evicted, like tonight, somebody will be evicted. And they're gonna, when they get off the stage with Julie, I guess they go get weighed. Um, um, and I just think that that's cool because I don't think they've ever done that before and if they have weighed them they haven't made that known to the public to my knowledge so I just think that's interesting um so we're really enjoying Big Brother uh we're re really enjoying the Food Network star uh we haven't watched the episode from Sunday yet just because we haven't had time uh Face Off started we love Face Off if you've never watched Face Off you need to start watching Face Off it just started on Tuesday night, I believe, and we have not even watched that episode yet. We recorded it on Kevin's computer. I'm sure uh, usually all the episodes are available online, so if you missed it, go online. Please watch it. It's such an awesome, awesome show. Um, how these people, they're just, they're always so talented and creative and uh, they just do so much in such a short period of time. You really need to watch it. It's called Face Off. Um, and it is a competition show, uh, but it's just all about the talent. So, um, so that's three shows. Big Brother, Food Network, Star Face Off. 
Um, and then I want to talk to you about the kitchen. I am actually, um, I might talk about the kitchen a little bit here and there, but what I've decided to do, uh, which will probably be a bummer to some of you, but I've decided to do my kitchen renovation videos separate. Um, this is why. I have a good reason. Um, because when I started doing the vlogs, uh, was was around the time I was doing the dining room renovation that Kevin and I were doing that. It was very difficult for me, um, and it probably you probably never knew it, but it was probably very it was very difficult for me to do two videos at the same time. I was actually making vlogs and I was recording a little bit for a dining room renovation so that when we were finished with the dining room I could make those videos all on their own. So um, I wanted to give you all updates for a vlog and tell you hey we've done this and this um, and then I would stop recording and then I would start recording again so that I could uh, for ju just for people who wanted to come and see, okay, how did they redo their dining room from start to finish? I didn't want them to have to watch the vlogs if they didn't want to uh, see updates on the family or grocery shopping or Gavin or whatever or the pug. You know, I didn't want them to have to watch all that too, so I wanted to make those separate. So what I've decided to do this time, and I did have some people say, um, I didn't watch your dining room renovation because I had already watched the progression during the vlogs. And that's fine. I, you know, I didn't expect you to watch both of them if you had seen them. So, I am putting all of that separate. I am actually, um, I'm actually creating those videos now as we go because, um, I did a den renovation series, and I've done a dining renovation series, and I've learned by doing both of those that it's very, very hard to do all of that work at the end. Kind of like when we went to Disney and we had a great week of fun, and then you come home, you have to create those videos. You have to make them. There's a lot to go through. So... As we go right now, I'm making those videos. I actually am saving part four as we speak. Um, and uh, so I think it's going to be much, much better this way. And I'm not saying I'm going to wait till we finish the whole kitchen and then upload them. I will probably go ahead and upload those now. I haven't yet because um, I need to to add um, some dates into parts one through three. I forgot to put the dates in there and I wanna, I wanna put those dates in there. I will probably go ahead and make those public to you. And uh, speaking of that, um, part one, um, part one, if you've watched my vlogs so far, you will probably not need to watch part one because part one is just really, it is showing us emptying out the room again and talking about how we, uh, it, it's footage of me once again telling you this is going to be a kitchen renovation. I think I do show some old uh, pictures in part one. Um, I don't know that I can pull it up now to check and see. I should have, um, I should have looked at that before I started. And, of course, it's not there. I can't look and see that right now. Um, anyway, because I have Movie Maker up already, so I can't load up another movie. Um, anyway, there will probably... there. I know for a fact there are some new things in Part 1, but not enough to where you have to watch it if you haven't watched it before and you're interested in the kitchen renovation. It's literally just me talking about how we empty out the room. Um, to prepare for, I think, part two. Um, anyway, I'll probably go ahead and make those public to you once I have finished them, and it will be ongoing videos, but I'm not going to do updates in the vlogs on it also. And so, because it's just too hard to do both. 
um, because there are people that get on YouTube and they just want to see that renovation process. So I would rather just make those as a set, as like a series, um, and put those in a playlist as we go, uh, then make those as part of the daily vlog. So I hope you understand that. I hope no one, you know, gets ticked off because I'm doing it that way, but that's, that's just the easiest way for me because it's a lot of, um, stress on me and maybe I shouldn't be stressed over it but it does stress me to know that I, I you know I would be making vlogs and be making these and I don't and then if the two intersect it's it's just easier for me this way it's like my own filing system with videos so um but anyway we've reviewed a lot of new things lately um and those are going to be coming up and <laughs> since I mentioned that I want to tell you you will notice that a lot of the reviews that are coming up were actually done in the kitchen before we started this process. And it's because that's, we, we reviewed, we might review five things in one day, but I don't want to put all five things on YouTube at one time and then bombard you. I would rather have a couple every day and space them out and that way you have something to enjoy every single day if i put all five videos up at one time then those videos are gone and then you wouldn't have anything you wouldn't get to see us the next day so because <laughs> you really want to see us don't you no i'm just kidding um so anyway you will notice a lot coming up that we're in the kitchen before we moved out and um, but you will notice too, uh, the switch over when we had to switch and start doing videos in the living room, because there will be some, like Kevin's reviewed some, um, TGI Friday meals and I've reviewed some pop tarts and stuff like that. And you're going to be seeing a lot more, um, because he bought some new stuff that we haven't even tried yet. So, um, anyway, you will, uh, you will see new videos that we've done out in the living room and the lighting <laughs> we need to put new bulbs the bulbs are in the light that were still in there that were in there when we moved in and i don't think they're as bright as they could be so we need to switch out all of those bulbs and put a new bulb so the lighting's terrible in there but it's okay i know you all won't care um it's really just about the taste of the food right so uh hopefully you get to see the food well enough. So anyway, um, that's what's going on right now. Uh, the kitchen, it's coming along, um, and you'll be seeing those videos, I promise you. Um, and who knows when it'll be finished. You know, some people have asked me um, if, if I have a timeline, if I have any idea when it'll be finished. I don't know when it'll be finished. We haven't even ordered the cabinets as of yet. Um, <coughs> we are, sorry, I'm going to cough again. <coughs> oh, there's been so much in the air lately. <coughs> and I haven't been wearing a mask like I should. So, anyway, I'm breathing all that in. Um, but I've been making videos and it's a lot easier to talk on a video if you're not wearing a mask. Um, but people have asked me if we have a time on or anything. We don't. We haven't even ordered the cabinets. We, um, we, uh, don't have the money right now to order the cabinets. We are waiting until, uh, the 30th for another pay period. So we'll have more money to add to what we have. And then we have to combine that and order the cabinets and all that. I will be given a final price, just like on the den renovation and the dining room. I will be given a final price on that on the last video. Um, usually before the credits roll on the end. I think that's where I did it on the den. I know I did it that way on the dining room. I don't know where I put it on the den. Probably on the last video. But I will put it at the very end before the credits roll. I will give you... Uh, prices on everything um, and uh, we've even had some fees that we didn't know we were going to have so um, it's been a learning experience to say the least um, 
but you will get you'll get more updates as they come as far as that goes so um, anyway just wanted to have this little talk with you and um, hope everyone's doing okay and I will talk to you again very soon